Welcome to today's stream. I'm not sure I'm online. I will wait for feedback uh, from the chat. It's an exciting day. It's my first ever solo uh, stream. I do have two screens open, so I see something happening on the other one, which hopefully is a good sign. Um, as I mentioned, if you saw my tweet or something, um, today's a very spontaneous show. I hadn't really planned on doing this stream. I had planned on maybe doing one last night, but then things were quite hectic and I'm going to get to that in a second. But then I thought I want to do a one show tonight because I want to do some testing. Uh, if some of you uh, have seen the stream from last week, we did a 12 hour stream with uh, David Howell and Vlad Hamitsevich. Um, which was good fun. We did that to raise some funds for Chadleton and I'm still <laughs> trying to do that. Um, it's 12 days to go until the first round of the tournament. Anton uh, just told me in the chat he can see me and hear me, which is great news. Um, so yeah, 12 days to go until the European Club Cup starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and try and raise some funds, seeing as I'm the team captain and I promised the guys I would manage to get us funded. So I'm going to try and continue doing that. I'm just going to do the what we did last year, just uh, last week, not last year. I'm just going to uh, play some Blitz, talk about chess, talk about random stuff, get back to you guys in the chat if there are any questions. I'm fairly new to this. I've been doing it uh, with Simon a few times, of course, but I've never really streamed on my own. <laughs> so today, tonight is a completely new um, experience. So basically tonight is just a test run for me because I'm off uh, on holidays to Greece on Wednesday, so two days from now. And my plan is to use my time wisely and besides relax just um, stream. So I'm planning starting from Wednesday to stream every night uh, for a week, for eight days straight. So tonight basically yeah, is a test run to see that I'm capable of starting and running the stream on my own basically. What's going to happen tonight? Uh, I'm probably going to try and play some chess. I did play some chess at the weekend. Um, I played in the Luxembourgish League and I was very happy. It was nice to be back at the board. It's been a while. It's Wow, I can... I'm just looking at the dates. I'm sometimes completely lost in time. I just realized it's already the end of October, which means I haven't played a rated game since the Olympiad concluded. So over a month um, I was away from the board, so it was good to be back playing yesterday. Um, the Luxembourgish League, it's a small league, but it's, um, it's a decent league at the top. And I thought I could maybe show you um, just the results. So let me see if I can get that to work. So there you go, that's the website um, of the Luxembourgish Federation and there you see that's my team uh, BIE which stands for Beerless. So we're also known as the Smashing Ponds. You might or might not have heard of them. Um, our team was fairly strong. We had the young German grandmaster Jan Christian Schröder on the top board. He has recently played in the Isle of Man, did very well there, drew against uh, Mickey Adams and Peter Leko amongst others. And um, as you can see, things went very well for us on the top boards. We managed to score three and a half out of four on the first four boards. You might wonder what 2-2 two, two and 1-3 means. Basically, this is a system uh, they introduced in Luxembourg a few years ago to punish uh, teams. Like you can see this match above here, for example, the player with the, the Schmidt-Jean-Claude was forfeited. So then um, they introduced this 0-3 system to punish the teams uh, which don't have eight players, basically. And yeah, there you can see me. I managed to win my game, which was nice because things hadn't really gone uh, very well for me in the Olympiad. So it was nice to get some confidence back uh, before the European, European Club Cup, which is going to be pretty tough. And then um, it was also for me personally nice to get revenge. Uh, I, the guy I played, I played him a few years back. Actually, when we were facing the same team, I was at the time on a different one. He was on the same team and I failed <laughs> to spot the mate in one, which was pretty embarrassing. And then uh, he drew the game later on. So that was pretty bad, but I managed to give, get revenge yesterday. 
you can see me having a glass of wine. I'm basically just back in Hamburg now, trying to unwind after what has been a hectic few days. So I just come, came back from Luxembourg from home today. So basically I spent all of today and all of Saturday on a train. I never usually go, I usually fly home, but train was a new experience. There were some unexpected adventures along the way. So it took a bit longer than I planned for, but um, yeah, I'm fairly tired tonight, which is why I only uh, set the stream for one hour. Cause as I said, I, I will play some chess and um, I will talk some nonsense, but mostly this is just a test run to see, make sure everything is all set. <laughs> and yeah, vSim says unwind. Yeah, it's, it's basically just unwinding, that's true. Um, so yeah, I decided until the Club Cup starts, I will continue um, playing with the Chattelton account we created for the stream, uh, which you can see here. So this is an account we created last uh, week, basically an account to promote um, our team and our um, bit to get to the European Club Cup. I think you've all heard enough about that uh, by now. Basically, uh, my team from England, which you can see in the photo there above me, uh, we are going to the European Club Cup. And we're hoping, we have some big ambitions. We have a fairly strong team. We have four GMs, two IMs, and then me on board seven as a super sub. Um, but we are hoping to be the first ever English team to uh, finish in the top 10. And we, unlike uh, many other teams playing there, or many of the stronger teams, let's say, don't have a sponsor. So that's why we thought we'll try to raise some money, do some fun things. Um, give you guys a chance to play us. I mean, playing me isn't quite the same thing as playing David Howell or Simon Williams. But um, that's why I thought for next week when I'm in Greece, uh, I will do eight streams and I was planning to get a different guest GM or IM every day. So I'm going to plan that tomorrow and keep you updated on Twitter, on Facebook. I think I set up my Twitter, um, whatever you call it, <laughs> thingy under the stream uh, where you can follow me if you don't already. So I will keep you informed. Um, and yeah, maybe tonight I was thinking uh, I could possibly show you yesterday's game at some point, or, but I think I'll just start by playing. So I think I'm just going to play some random games in the friend zone, but if there's anyone uh, who wants to play against me, you can send me a challenge. Um, if you go if you hover over, no, you don't need to hover. What did I do? Oh, I can't challenge myself, obviously. But if I click on anyone, let's say I click on Kingway, who we played last time, uh, you will see this button here, challenge me. So just find me, I'm called Team Chaddleton. And uh, challenge me, preferably two, three minutes games. <laughs> and then, yeah, as I said, next week's, uh, next week's stream is a uh, dedicated to raising funds for our European campaign for us to go to the European Club Cup. But it's also, um, I'm also hoping to use it of, as a bit of training because <laughs> I think my play on recent streams have been, has been pretty embarrassing. I mean, I'm not a very strong player, but it's really been below anything I've ever shown, <laughs> I think. So um, another of my aims is to just get a little warm up myself before the European Club Cup. As I said, we have a very strong team, so I'm not sure how many games I will get there. But also in general, it would be nice to get my chest up a bit. Okay, so I think I'm just going to um, find a random game now. So what rating? Okay, so we have an exactly 2100 uh, Blitz rating. So it will be interesting to see how far I can get that up or down <laughs> in the next uh, week or in the next 10 days, shall I say. And this is now a completely new experience. I have literally never done this, just played and talked about the game. So I'm not sure how serious or how unserious I should keep it, but um, I will refrain from talking about openings too much, but I can tell you this is um, 
the French defense and I've played this line basically all my life. It's not the most exciting of lines. Um, but like everything else, my repertoire needs some working on. I don't think I'm telling you anything new uh, if I say I'm a bit of a lazy player. So I think I always just get overwhelmed when I want to start start working on my chest and I think, oh, I really need to work on my openings. And then I think I really need to work on my end games. And then I think I should really do some tactics. And then I just basically lose motivation to do anything at all. But I was thinking uh, for my holiday that at least, um, and I'm getting my first challenge, which, which is great. So I'll be playing you next, Mannered Monkey. And thank you for being in the chat. Um, let me. Okay, someone's asking what uh, software I'm using. I'm using um, XSplit, um, basically because it's what we use at work as well. I hope I'm not giving anything away here. But so I thought that would be easier um, for me to work because I would be somewhat used to it. You might also, um, oh, what's happening here? Nervous Wait is now following me, it's great. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I really need to speed up. <laughs> I'm not very good at this playing and talking at the same time thing. But, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, basically, yeah, I'm using XSplit and um, I'm very new to it all. <laughs> new to the tech side, new to the talking and playing. I'm already a minute down on the clock. And uh, mm -hmm. I hope you can all see me and hear me all right, but maybe you're just talking about more technical things. So I'll leave you to it and try not to lose on time, which might be tricky already. You know, this really, when I, I was, I've done this banter blitz thing um, at Chess24 for a while. I had some guests, um, players, I had Niels Grandelius. David Howard was here and I thought oh, it doesn't look terribly difficult this speaking and playing at the same time business but now that I started uh, streaming my uh, myself I realized just how tough it is so uh, yeah and hi Outlucked um, Outlucked I should really uh, give a big thank you send a big thank you to him. He's one of my dear colleagues and he did help with some uh, great, oh, did I just, that wasn't the right move. Um, he helped with some advice about how to get the show running. He did uh, lend me a microphone, so thanks a lot. I much appreciate it. And yeah, this end game, I thought I should really be able to hold, but what am I doing here? I always, the only thing I really know about night endings are that they are supposed to be the same as pawn endings. And if they are, I'm basically just a pawn down. And I don't think this is looking too great for me. But okay, I'm probably just going to play a5 and I don't really have much hope here. But okay, we shall see. I think a bigger problem is also that I'm over a minute down on the clock. So, yep. Okay, let's just consider this a warm-up game. <laughs> this is another, another, I think another reason why I never really um, did banter blitz is because I thought it's pretty embarrassing to play as badly as this and then talk about it as well. Okay, I'm just going to resign this one. Uh, I also, one of the things I, I hope is that I never lose it. <laughs> I mean, it probably will happen someday that I lose it on the show because um, when I was young, I actually used to play online. Oh, vSim, thank you, yeah. I agree with that, first game doesn't count. I'll play uh, Mannered Monkey next, but uh, yeah, just to come back to my history with online uh, online blitz, I used to play quite a lot online when I was younger. 
and then I don't know I just got too nervous or too emotionally involved <laughs> too angry and then I just uh, stopped playing for a few years and then this year uh, when I joined Chess24 I thought okay I really should start playing online more again and uh, it's been going fine for a while but then yeah I just have some periods where it comes and goes uh, same with bullet bullet even more intensive though bullet I sometimes felt like I would just smash my laptop which is pretty maybe if you know me hard to imagine because I'm usually quite good-natured and it takes quite a lot to get me upset but um yeah, I could smash a mouse or a laptop here and there <laughs> when it came to bullets. So uh, let's continue playing. I'll play Man and Monkey. Once again, if you are watching me and uh, you want to challenge me to a game, my handle is, I hope you can still see it, yeah. So Team Chaddleton, um, just challenge me to a game, ideally three minutes. But if you want to see me tilting at bullet, uh, do challenge me at three, uh, one minute if you fancy. Five minutes is also fine. And Mannered Monkey just disconnected there. I hope he will be back. He has 25 seconds. One of the things I also wonder about streaming is I told you I'm not very good at. Um, like blitzing and talking at the same time, but I always thought one thing I'm very good at is just talking <laughs> without the chessboard, just the plain talking. Oh, and Mannered Monkey is in the chat and he does tell me um, his internet was down. So he gifted me two waiting points. I hope you manage to solve your issues um, and just send me another challenge. And I just earned a badge for winning 50 Blitz games <laughs> thanks to this loss on this connection on move one. So as long as there are no chats, uh, no challenges coming in, I will just um, be looking for random opponents. Yeah, so as I said, one thing I like to think I'm very good at is just plain talking without the chess. But then I always wondered how good am I if I do this? every day for a week how how much pay or how much talk do i have in me okay but back to the game this is because this is one opening i do quite like to talk about if i actually knew what to play this is my favorite opening this is the grand prix attack um it's an opening i've been thinking for years that i should really stop playing but i can't i just can't help myself um I've had some important victories with the Grand Prix. I've also had some pretty bad losses, but uh, it's sort of like my first chess love, so I can't really give it up, but I'm not sure what I've done here. And um, thank you, uh, hi, not thank you everyone. Hi everyone who's joining us in the chat, uh, Malishev, um, Manu Nan, <laughs> uh, Zombies, and thank you to Anton, who was there from the start. Anton, who's one of my moderators. Um, hopefully, I won't be needing too many of them. When we streamed for 12 hours last time, the chat was really civilized. Um, there, of course, one or the other will always try to get some attention. But um, overall, I was really, really happy with how it went. Okay, so I really need to generate some attack now. And the Grand Prix, of course, White always wants to play f5 somehow, but I've made that a bit tricky now. I also want to reroute my knight, but I'm not sure where to, and I'm really slow. This is so um, tricky. And yeah, someone's asking if I will be making my own YouTube channel. I've actually set uh, that up already, and tonight I also made sure that um, that the, the stream is actually uh, saved. So you should be able to, I, sh I will try to upload the stream. I will try to upload the stream to my YouTube channel um, either later tonight or tomorrow. And hopefully that all goes well. I'm just, just making sure my queen 
doesn't end up being trapped and I should also make sure I speed up a bit and I don't get mated on G2 but uh, I won a pawn there. I'm pretty happy just now. Mm. Of course I'm wondering if I can take on E6 which is very tempting and I think ah, I can't help myself. I'm going to go with it. I'm not sure whether that was really a good move but I have some tricks. Uh, I guess he will take and play queen f7 and then I hope to get bishop b3 in somehow, someday. Um, <laughs> okay, king there. I didn't see that one coming. I should have, I guess. I wonder if I can play f5 here, but I should wander more quickly than I am. Okay, I'll put Harry up the board for the first time. And yeah, there you go. Um, that's Oli in the chat sending you the link to my profile. So if you want the game, and I just have another challenge coming in from Manad Monkey, who I'm glad to see has managed to um, re-log in. I have made a right mess out of my position though, which I'm not too happy about. Um, <laughs> I'm also, I have to say, I, I didn't expect to be so nervous when I streamed. I guess it's just first time nerves. And knight g3 is a good move, of course. I was planning to go queen g4, but that wouldn't be ideal because I would be mated. And I'm not liking this at all. Like, I think at some point, I would probably just stop talking and start raging because <laughs> I think my position is now probably okay. No, it's probably not okay. I just realized I'm a rook down. How many points do I have? I have four points, so it might be okay-ish, but I have 90 seconds, which isn't okay. Um, yeah, as I said, I might just start raging and tilting at some stage. But then luckily this isn't my own account, it's our Chatterton account, so I can afford to, uh, I don't know, probably can't afford to just give rooks for no reason. But yeah, I can afford, ah, uh, rook d1 is very strong, yeah, well spotted. Okay, and let him mate me. And Bobux is now following, I did get mated. Uh, he's offered me a rematch, but I will leave that for now. I will give Manor the Monkey um, a game. Let me just see what's happening. Oh, <laughs> I totally mispronounced the Aman <laughs> handle. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, it's obviously Aman, you handsome beast. Not, I thought he was some kind of Indian. <laughs> name. I've just come back from the Isle of Man where I was doing commentary and there were so many Indians in the in the tournament that I just read the middle bit about Wuhan and just assumed. But yeah, that probably also says something about my tiredness levels. <laughs> Let me see what else is going on. Down a rook here, okay. Yeah, I was doing okay-ish. Did I ever break a mouse or keyboard? I, I don't think I actually, I probably threw them around, but I don't think I ever actually broke them. I'm very lucky we have very, back at home, we have very robust uh, wooden doors because they have been smashed a fair few times. But um, overall, <laughs> I like to keep control somehow. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so let me get to your challenge, Manad Monkey. It's really about time I win a game uh, differently than on differently than through disconnection. Uh, so here we go, another attempt. I feel like I've just been. Did I get four whites in a row? There was one Grand Prix. There was one French. Uh, maybe I was black in the game. I won through disconnection on move one. But yeah, the perk. I, the perk is an opening, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I never know if it's Pirz or Perk or it's also it depends on the language I speak about. But it's an opening I never really know what to play against. I've tried a fair few things and one of the problems when it comes to 
openings is um, that I have an absolute goldfish memory. Now, I always thought if um, if chess openings were songs, I'd be brilliant because if I ever hear a song on the radio once, I can pretty much remember the lyrics. But then chess openings, I've seen them a hundred times. <laughs> Chess openings, I've seen them a hundred times in my life and I just can't bloody remember them. It's it's actually a bit depressing. Maybe I should play B3. And it's good to see Davy Boy uh, has joined us in the chat. Davy Boy, for those of you who don't know, uh, because of his comment, uh, don't pay too much attention to it. It's just David Howell who uh, likes to poke a bit of fun at me. <laughs> And uh, Davy Boy, I was actually just having dinner with him and Vlad uh, an hour ago, two hours ago. Uh, he's at the airport now, so good to see you. Found some time to log in and join the show. Uh, hi to Sorcy and hi to Le Putelu. Uh, Sorcy was asking if I've ever played. I really need to focus on the games, this is terrible. Um, Sorcy was asking if I've ever played any Buckhouse. Um, <laughs> and I think Davy Boy <laughs> has fallen. I, I, while, uh, while I blunder on my pieces, Davy Boy has fallen victim <laughs> to my moderator and <laughs> poor Davy Boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I really shouldn't blunder even more pieces than I have already. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that will teach David Howell. Um, what I was saying, uh, to come back to the question about Buckhouse, is yeah, I love Buckhouse and I really should play more Buckhouse than I um, than I am playing. I did uh, play with Simon on one of his streams, but uh, I also actually played a Buckhouse tournament with Simon in real life. So yeah, I love Buckhouse and um, I think it would be great if there were more real-life Buckhouse tournaments because normal tournaments are great and they are good fun and but just would be nice to mix it up a little bit and I can already tell you the next game will be played against Slow Volvo just seen a challenge come in there but before that I really should try and win one game I don't know if this is your real rating, Mannered Monkey, but if it is, you're about to embarrass me pretty badly. Unless I can turn this around somehow. I did lose the e-pawn earlier, but um, let's say if he plays f5 now, I'll probably go g5 and followed by h4, h4, h5 and just try and mate him. <laughs> okay, I'm um, also now... Okay, so this is pretty much the same. I'm still going to try and get something going on the king side. I'm not sure how to start this. I'm started like this. And Man and Monk is 1850 nationally. Okay, that's a lot better than your rating here. Still lower than mine, so I should be able to put up a fight at least. And I probably should start by playing faster, something I've been saying for the last five games now, but this really is tough. If you just tuned in, as I said, this is my first ever solo stream and this isn't going well at all. But okay, I will try to, try to mate you now, Manage Monkey, somehow. Just cross my fingers and pray, basically. And I probably also need to stop reading the chat when I'm down to under a minute. So I will get back to you guys after I hopefully manage to turn this around somehow. I'm two pawns down, but Black's King should be a tiny bit scared. I hope Mannered Monkey didn't disconnect. Um, okay. Okay, Mannered Monkey, how are we going to do this? I think that was a terrible move. Okay, as I said, now is the time when I get pretty nervous. I'm not sure who's going to mate who here. I still 
like my chances, but not too much. I'm probably going to flag, which is not what I'd intended. But there we go. I'm really sorry, man mannered monkey. <laughs> that wasn't a brilliant game, but it is what it is. I'm not very good at dealing with this. Like, if you, if you just flag while you play at home and no one's watching you, like, yes. <laughs> but then, if well, there are not too many people watching just now, but you can't really do that on a stream, and then you don't know what to say. But I will try and play some better games uh, now. Uh, someone, okay, let me just catch up with the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on chess.com, um, I am Fiona. Well, it's actually um, on chess uh, on chess twenty four, and I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> on both chess twenty four and chess.com, my handle is just Fiona. But um, tonight I'm not playing under my handle, which is Fiona, and I think that's a good thing because I actually have a believe it or not a twenty four hundred blitz rating there. So I think I will refrain from playing on that during my streams for as long as I can. Um, okay, so I will now play Slow Volvo. I don't know if you're in the chat, Slow Volvo. And uh, Mannered Monkey is saying he played with his touchpad. And yeah, uh, I was just going to point out what Outlook just pointed out. Uh, David Howell, who was on the 12 hour stream um, with me last week, uh, I did a Banter Blitz session with him for Just24 last. Uh, we actually did two Banter Blitz sessions. And David uh, told me before the show, and I couldn't, but I know David pretty well, but I didn't know this. He got to 3,000, to 3,000 not only blitz rating but also bullet with a touchpad which i think is pretty incredible what is not so incredible is that i've been facing the catalan as black for a million years <laughs> and i just can't recall but okay i will also uh, stop whining about my non-existent theoretical knowledge someday <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Dan. Um, I also cannot imagine what playing just with a touchpad would be like, but there you go. And uh, so I'm actually, um, David Howell, just when I got here, um, so <laughs> David Howell was in my flat in Hamburg while I was away this weekend, and when I got back, um, I rang the doorbell and it took David about five minutes to open the door because he was busy playing bullet and, uh, and good to see David is actually he's back in the chat after being banned um, again this isn't going well this isn't going well at all but okay uh, yeah I was saying uh, I was saying what was I saying I was wondering where my rook is going, really. Can't go to b6 because of bishop c7. I'm just going to give up this rook. It's probably lost anyway. But um, yeah, David was playing bullet when I got back home today. And yeah, he was raging. <laughs> That's basically what I was. I'm very bad at this. I love telling stories, but I, when I get sound sidetracked, not soundtracked, sidetracked <laughs> it turns out i'm very very bad at them and then i can't speak either um this game is pretty tricky because my opponent slow volvo has a rating of 1500 which either means he's not a very strong player or it means he's new to the site and he could be magnus carlson in the hiding you never know um what did did i get a pawn back here yeah, so I, i'm an exchange down i did get a pawn for it now but I still don't like my position too much. A minute down on the clock again, which isn't great. But I'm pretty happy if those bishops come off and my knight will get a nice outpost 
on d5 or so I'm hoping. Uh -huh. I'm not quite sure what it's going to do on b5 just now, but we shall see. I will also make some luft for my king before it's too late. I don't really want to get back rank made it on today's show. Okay, I'm now hoping to jump to e3 at some stage. Someday, someday. Oh, <laughs> that was even a better option of the e3 jump than I'd hoped for. Again, this probably is an instance of where I would be rubbing my hands if I wasn't on camera jumping around, um, which I shouldn't be, but which I guess everyone who does play online blitz. Okay, I should just make sure now he doesn't flag me. I mean, I'm a queen of... Um, I'll be crying if I don't win that game, literally crying. But 35 seconds. Again, I will uh, come back to the chat once I've managed to win this game. 33 seconds. I just make maybe get another queen. Going to try and focus for just a second here. I should probably just try and mate him. I mean, look at his king. That surely, surely can't bode well for white. I hope I... and he resigned. I was just wondering if my settings were set um, to auto-promote to queen, but thank you for the game, slow Volvo. Again, I didn't start that brilliantly. It was a bit lucky there. Um, he gifted me his queen and uh, outlucked, uh, who I said earlier, my dear colleague, um, Oli. He unbent David, so good to have you back, uh, Davy boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what's the food bank to open? Okay, I'm a bit confused. I'm going to see if I, I think I had one more challenge. I'll leave you guys to the food banks. Um, as I said last time, if, uh, if you have any questions or if anything, I will keep an eye on the chat. Uh, probably not when I'm down to under a minute, um, but yeah. Well, treat myself to one more glass. Ah, and turns out uh, Volvo is Malichef uh, in the chat. So thanks for the game, Malichef, and I hope to see you around more often. Uh, what did I miss here? I think someone just followed me, but I was too slow. Okay, I'm white against Eldorado 1x. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, Scandinavian defense. I actually have a pretty decent um, score against the Scandinavian. And... Okay. Ta -da. Uh, guys, this is just... And who's Jolly Bishop? Uh, so, Jolly Bishop was... Ah, uh, Jolly Bishop was Wolf. Okay, I get it now. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> As I said, it's been a long weekend. Maybe after this game, uh, once there are no more challenges coming in, um, if you guys fancy it, I could try and show you my game from yesterday. Um, it wasn't the best game I ever played, but as I mentioned, um, it was just nice being back to winning ways at all after the Olympiad, which hadn't gone very well for me. I don't know if I've ever been up on the clock today, not even once. Okay, but I can't believe he's castling into this. <laughs> Basically, I always get excited as soon as I see any kind of attacking chances. Really, any. Any, any. Okay. I think if some of you um, have seen either my streams with Simon, 
or some of our live commentary, you will know that I'm the sort of player, if the queens come off, I will be pretty unhappy. Um, this isn't exactly going the way I was hoping, um, but I still quite like my position for now. Hope I didn't run into any forks there or anything stupid. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do after. Okay. <laughs> okay, so again, as I said, I'm just trying to speak and talk. I really don't want to swap queens, but I'm mildly worried about him getting to a2. But maybe if I go here. I will play c4 next if I can, just to chase his queen back. Uh, again, I should play a bit faster. I, I don't believe it. I mean, all you guys are rated 1300. I really shouldn't be struggling so much. So either you're all playing very well, or I'm playing very badly. I'm not sure which one. Uh, hopefully the first. But yeah, good stuff. Okay, and he now wants to force me to swap queens. Okay, if he comes to g3, I will actually swap, so I don't need to worry about those stupid queens anymore. Actually, if he comes to g3, I'll play rook g1, I think. Okay. And despite the queens coming off, I maybe still have some sort of attacking chances. We shall see. Okay, can I just take this pawn? I will just take it and then I'll try and get my bishop back to c4. Um, hitting, hitting e6 now, which he probably can't defend. I wonder if I can play b5 first because I don't think, and that's just a free piece, which is very nice because, as you can tell, I'm struggling struggling a bit today, but um, yeah, I think now this should um, be enough. And there's another challenge coming in. Who is it this time? <laughs> there's a challenge coming in from David Howard, <laughs> who wants to embarrass me on my first stream. Uh, but I will, I will do him that favor. He's at the airport. He's probably bored, so I will give him the pleasure of playing a game against me. Uh, should be interesting. Looking forward to that. So your next Davy boy. Mm. This one uh, should really be over soon. Now. I'm just trying to find a mate, and I think that it's just mate in one. So thank you for the game, Eldorado. Once again, uh, do let me know who you are in the chat. Um, it's very nice to be able to put names on names, basically, because I don't know your faces. So let me see uh, the chat. <laughs> Okay, so uh, an Eldorado, well, that's actually easy. I said I wanted to put names on names, but Eldorado1x is also Eldorado1x in the chat, so um, thanks for that. Davy Boy, I see in the chat, is looking forward. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should play with your left hand or blindfold. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that he, chal he challenged me to a rated game. So I'm going to accept it and hope either his boarding starts or he gets disconnected and I'll probably win about 300 rating points in one go. This is my first ever, ever game against someone rated uh, above 3000. So yeah, for those of you who maybe just joined us, King's uh, Meet is David Howard. So I'm actually playing a super GM just now and a super GM who obviously doesn't respect me whatsoever. And I really wish I could just beat the crap out of you, David Howard. And uh, Blazero is saying, David, did you see that? If I beat you, Blazero is going to donate um, 20 pounds. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay, so what am I going to do? If David puts all his pawns to the third, 
rank. I will put all of mine to the fifth. <laughs> I can already see that ending in tears. I can also see myself using a central poem uh, sometime soon already. And yeah, uh, talking of donations, uh, of course I'm having a lot of fun doing those shows, but as I said, I will be streaming for the next 10 days, um, pretty much every day starting from Thursday night. And um, so yeah, the goal is to raise some money. And what is Davy Boy doing? I like my position, but it's the sort of position I always think, oh, I like it, and then a few months later, I really don't. But yeah, um, donations. Uh, and, and to try and get tonight's donations going, although you've probably all seen it by now, but I do have Simon Williams' um, karaoke video from the Isle of Man. So I will play that. <laughs> Although I always wonder, will that make people donate or will it people make, make people not donate? But uh, once the first donation comes in, ah, uh, dear, and there we go. That smells of trouble. <laughs> trouble, trouble. I'm losing an exchange. I probably don't really have any compensation. Um, I'm not going to swap queens because I know there's nothing David loves more in the entire world. But yeah, for the first donation tonight, <laughs> and Davy Boy says his rating points are worth more than pounds, I'm just going to trap his queen, but I don't think I will manage that. I'm going to see where he's going to castle, and once he makes up his mind, I'm just going to throw all my pieces at his king. But yeah, what I was saying, um, for the first donation tonight, I will play uh, Simon Williams' karaoke video. And if you haven't seen it, um, it really is worth every penny. And David, with his cheap tricks, just wants to win my queen with a fork. Unbelievable stuff. And now, Eldorado, sadly, you can't download uh, the PGNs, but... Going premium, premium really is worth your money. Um, I won't turn this into a marketing show, but yeah, it really is. Uh, I'm talking too much. <laughs> I probably should resign now. Because Oh, no, I can still take, but okay. That's really not what I wanted to do. I wonder if how much fun David is having right now, but probably a fair bit of fun. <laughs> and no, I did not nearly miss the four. I'm still, I'm not going to resign this game. I can't, David is such a greedy chess player, just taking everything. And I'm not going to resign because um, if you're just joining in, I know that David is at the airport right now because we just had dinner together an hour ago. And I'm basically just hoping David, uh, for David to... Um, get disconnected and for me to steal all his rating point. Although now I just got H5 and I'm actually fairly happy with my position, not very. And I can't believe it. He's just grabbing all my pawns. If I could just get my other knight to F5, but I'm not sure how to do that. How do I get my knight there? Oh no, I just dropped my bishop. That wasn't, that was not the way to go. That really wasn't the way to go. Okay, I'm now actually going to resign. Tell David, good game. And <laughs> and I think that probably will be uh, the last game between David and me for now, because David is saying in the chat, a hot girl just sat down next to him. And um, I hope she's seen your hot moves, David. Good luck with that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me see what else is going on. Well, talking of uh, the analysis tool on Chess24, um, I have no more challenges. <laughs> Davy boy, fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was great of David uh, to risk his rating and as I said I mean I just saw David play um, play bullet uh, in my flat a couple of hours ago and uh, his uh, reaction when he lost <laughs> was pretty temp temperamental <laughs> tem tempered 
I can't even speak English anymore. But um, yeah, so thank you for risking your waiting, your all precious waiting, David. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I let you guys give David some tips <laughs> for the hot girl who's just sat down next to him at the airport. And uh, someone's requesting the karaoke ginger video, but as far as I'm aware, there hasn't been a donation yet. Uh, so, first donation that comes in, I will put up the Simon karaoke uh, video. For now, I'm going to go because there are no more challenges. Again, if you want to play me, um, just send your request to uh, Team Chaddleton, uh, preferably three minute challenge. I will, <laughs> although I guess no one really cares, but I'm going to show you my game from yesterday. Uh, if you joined the show late, I was saying that uh, it's been a busy weekend. I was home in Luxembourg playing Luxembourgish League. It was the first time in over a month I was back uh, at the board. Um, my team did really well. We uh, beat the strongest team in the league by quite a margin. I was white, luckily, because I keep complaining I have no openings, but I really do not have any openings as black. Except from if someone, if I'm black and someone plays e4, it's fine. But if they play pretty much anything but e4, it just isn't fine. So I was happy uh, to have white. And um, yeah, if you guys do not care about my game, I was going to say, do let me know in the chat, but if you don't care, then <laughs> too bad for you. <laughs> so, you see five, I didn't know before the game who I was going to be playing. So basically um, in the run up to the game, also I was uh, basically supposed to be playing second team, but then one of my good friends on the team, his flight was cancelled, so I was just told two hours beforehand. I would be playing first team, which of course was a much more important game. So I basically, uh, before the opening, before the game, if you don't have any openings, if you don't have any time, I basically just sat down and thought, what am I going to do if he goes 1e5, e and then what am I going to do if he goes 1c5? And uh, since I've been spending so much time with David Howell, I thought, why not go for the Alepin, which is David's um, fetish opening, of course. And my opponent went d5, I took, took, I went d4, and now he surprised me for the first time um, in the game. He took on d4, which isn't one of the main moves. I found out later that this is actually um, still theory. I didn't know and I was spending quite a lot of time during the game and he played all of this without thinking. I would, I'd already invested around 20 minutes uh, at this point. I also arrived 20, 10 minutes late because I'd lost my way on the way to the venue. Although Luxembourg is such a small country, I still do not know all the ways. No, I still don't know my way around. Mm -hmm. Let me just keep an eye on the... <laughs> okay, I see David Boy is keeping the chat entertained, so I can continue talking away to myself about my game. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure what was going on here during the game. During the game, I thought I'm just doing fine, but I'm, I'm not sure why he's played all this without thinking about it. Whoops. <laughs> And um, now, apparently, I found out... Well, not apparently, I found out after the game that... Um, this is the main move here, e4, but my opponent uh, took on d4, which came as a surprise, because um, I thought I was just doing fine here. I did invest some time, knight b5 is the computer suggestion, I did consider it, but then decided to take on c6, which pretty much uh, forces queen c6, and now I played a slightly stupid move. I, I thought I really want to prevent um, black from castling and um, the way I did that was not the best of ideas. Actually the best way to stop black from castling is to simply take this pawn. And I did consider it of course, but I thought, oh, maybe he will get some counterplay and I didn't really think about it much further. But um, turns out this is perfectly fine for me. Instead I went queen d4. And queen d4 would probably fine, be fine if it wasn't for the fact black could just play f6, which luckily he didn't. But after f6, black would just be perfectly fine. 
Uh, instead, he played bishop e6, and I went rook d1 to stop rook d8. He now went knight d5, which was another surprise uh, to me, and I was wondering quite short on time. Again, I blame David for this. I blame David's bad influence. I never usually get too short on time, but um, a bit like David, I'd been spending a lot of time in the opening thinking about, I don't know, life, thinking about not much really. So at this point, um, I was already getting dangerously short on time. It's only moved 13. I was down to maybe half an hour, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see Lucas in the chat. How does one manage to get lost in Luxembourg? Isn't that city like 20 streets wide? Not only is it uh, 20 st uh, more than 20 streets wide, but I managed to get lost on the way on my way to the venue and on the way back I managed to get um, flashed for speeding. I mean I was driving too fast. So yeah it wasn't a great day. Luckily um, luckily, my team managed to win the match otherwise I would have been very upset going home to Luxembourg uh, to get lost and get flashed. And I don't know, let me know, is that an English expression, get flashed? Basically that's what we call it in French because you just the thing just flashes at you. And the funny thing is, um, I had, I had seen the radar. Again, I'm not sure if radar is the right word in English, but I had seen it on my way to the venue. And on the way back, I was in the car with Vlad, and I said to him, "Where was that radar? I really need to be careful not to go over the limit." And of course, I forgot about it. It was dark because Vlad played for five and a half hours, but he did manage to win his nice game. And so, yeah, I missed. I missed the radar, I was flashed, um, I'm still, I have a tiny bit of hope it might have been the car in front of me, but um, there were actually two flashes, <laughs> so I'm afraid we both got flashed. I still don't know if flash is the right word, but um, I have yeah, flashed as if I flashed my boobs, that would be flash. Yeah, no, that's not, <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> I didn't flash uh, <laughs> didn't flash anyway <laughs> on the way anything on the way back. Um, <laughs> so how do you call those things? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, anyway, back to my game. So he played knight d5, which came as a bit of a surprise. And um it came as a bit of a surprise to me that I managed to play the first computer move, bishop e2. Basically, uh, my point was here that I didn't want to take uh, on g7 to not allow him to castle queenside. Uh, I didn't want his king to get to safety, um, but then I also, I didn't really know what to do. So I thought bishop e2, uh, I'm hoping to come to f3, of course, and then also I'm hoping that after he takes on c3, there will never be any checks on e4. So he decided to still take on c3, which is the best move. Um, I took on g7, King e7. At this point, I was fairly happy. I was just unhappy, um, happy by this situation because of the situation on the clock. Uh, <laughs> um, caught by a speed camera. Yeah, I was caught. But is there no, is there no way to describe that? I'm pretty sure. In, is it in French? I'm confused now. Okay, anyway, he played king e7 and I took on c3, rook g8, I came back here and now um, he made the decisive blunder, uh, the decisive mistake. It's actually uh, really, this was a case of mutual chess blindness because he could have just taken with the queen um, on g2 and for some reason I, I didn't consider uh, that move at all, and maybe neither did he, because I guess um, both of us thought that he can't give me that d6 square, but turns out there was nothing more uh, than a perpetual here, really, for white, and that wasn't really what I was after. But uh, luckily, he didn't go for queen g3, he took with the rook, and um, that really is the decisive mistake. Turns out I could have won even. Um, even fa well, no. 
we all we had a wrong moment. I played queen b4, which is the best move, and he went to f6, and now I did something which I thought during the game was very smart and very practical. And I'd seen the move which I played eventually, which is rook d6, which is the best move, well, the, the winning move. But I thought, oh, it's only 18, move 18, and I only have five minutes on the clock, so let's just repeat once to uh, get a move closer to move 40 and gain 30 seconds on the clock. But turns out black could now play king g6. Um, and white is still better, but it's not as easy um, as it will be after rook d6. But luckily for me, um, after queen d4, he did go back to e7, so I gave another check and went rook d6. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you, Winnie, uh, for pointing out flesh is in French. Uh, if you don't know, I am half French, so I speak French and and Luxembourgish. Uh, Tony McCarthy is asking what the rating was of my opponent. It was 2160, so just 10 points more than me, roughly the same as me. Uh, and I'm rating, my feeder rating is now 2140, so um, thanks to the new K20 factor that actually gave me 10 rating points, and I'm back <laughs> at 2150, yay! Um, mm -mm -mm. Court speeding, okay. Yeah, I agree with Winnie K, French is better <laughs> getting flashed. Okay, um, let me just finish the game, so Rook uh, rook d6, and the point is that the black uh, queen doesn't really have any squares. He can't go to c7 because of queen f4. You can't go to e7 because of rook e6. And uh, if you go to g7, there's the same tactic basically. Uh, just queen e5, king goes somewhere, and rook e6. So that's why he went. Where was I? <laughs> That's why he went to c8. And now I just went uh, for the easy solution. Okay, it's also the best solution, but bishop f3, hitting b7 and hitting the rook. He went, um, went to g5. I took on b7. He gave a check here on e5. King d2. Queen g8, queen h4, and now he played king f5, and I thought, surely I must be mating this king on f5, um, and I was thinking about playing rook d4, which is the second best move according to the engine. According to the engine, the best move is f4. It's probably not a move a human would play, I guess, although maybe stronger rated humans would uh, disapprove with me. But yeah, I wanted to play rook d4, which pretty much <clears throat> forces mate, but then I was so short on the clock that I thought, okay, I'll just take this rook <laughs> for now. Any material I've taken is gone. So um, he took, I went rook g1, here, here, and now again, I didn't take the best of decisions. Of course, uh, king c1 was just easily winning. There was no more checks and there's no way uh, of really preventing rook g5. And there's no way black can stop me from either winning the queen or mating. But no, of course, I thought I'd make things a bit more uh, interesting. And I, sorry, I went queen d4. So he took a pawn with check. And he went bishop c4, so I gave a check here to control the e2 square, make sure I don't get mated myself. King f6, uh, rook d1, and by now um, my opponent was also uh, short on time, so here he just uh, played the losing move. I mean, the position is lost anyway, but uh, now it's just straightforward after. Queen h4, king g7, and he resigned here because of the upcoming mate on d8. So there we go. I uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think no one was probably looking at that, just <laughs> discussing how you call flashing uh, in English. Uh, and yeah, bless a row. Uh, if you emailed me, and I think you did, I, I was actually just writing down addresses today 
Um, maybe just send me a quick private message here in the chat, but I'm fairly sure. Um, yeah, if you are Francis, who I think you are, um, I have written down your email address and everyone will be getting a postcard. Well, everyone who's donated will be getting a postcard from Novi Sad. And what else? And MCGJGP has joined the chat. Um, he is asking, where is that 2700 dude? Well, he's just above you there in the chat, Davy Boy. But uh, sadly, Davy Boy is getting a, a flight back to England as we speak. His flight should actually have taken off 15, a minute, uh, 15 minutes ago. 15 a minute. <laughs> 15 minutes ago. So I guess that's slightly delayed. But yeah, there should be uh, other opportunities to beat David again. As I mentioned, starting from Thursday night, I will be streaming every day for every night for a week. And I'm hoping to get different um, guests every night. And hopefully David will be one of them. So there shall be more opportunities to get to play him. Right, I'm going to uh, play a few more games. Again, uh, I have no challenges at the moment, but if you want to play me, just um, head to my profile. I'm not playing on my private profile because this is a Chaddleton uh, fundraiser or advertisement show. Uh, just head to Team Chaddleton and because this is my own profile, it won't work, but there is a button here saying challenge me. And you can challenge me to any kind of game. It's only been three minutes uh, i'm not sure I could, how i could how i would handle bullet but uh, if you want to see how i would you can handle me to a game of bullet um i denounced for the stream to last one hour we have a slightly um gone slightly over that already i think i'm going to go for 20 more minutes make it a one and a half hour show and um, then that will be it until thursday night and still not a single donation. I can't believe none of you want to see the Simon uh, Williams video. Even if you've seen it already, it really is worth. I, I hope to be able to get at least one donation before I end tonight's show. So, um, ah, just a question from Malik Chef. What's the goal of Team Chaddleton in Novi Sad? Well, the goal is to be uh, the first ever English team to finish in the top 10. Uh, we can close. We came close to posting a very good result last year, but then we um, we lost the last two matches by the closest of scores, uh, three and a half, two and a half, which was very unfortunate. But uh, this year we seeded 18th, um, and we are hoping. Yeah, no English team has ever. <laughs> and uh, guess who's just joined us in the chat? It's Ginger GM. Who I'm just trying to make money out. Um, so welcome, Simon. Thank you for tuning in. And sorry, I'm using <laughs> your video. Oh, and Blazero donated twenty pounds. I'm so sorry. I was probably so busy with the game. Uh, so thanks a lot for that. And. Um, yeah, why is the donation bar not moving? I'm not sure. It is moving for me. Um, okay, that's uh, something I will write down on my to-do, my little to-do list for Thursday. Because the bar is moving <laughs> for me, but with the donations from last time. So it's something I'm going to have to look into. So thanks a lot, Blazeru. And I really need to learn how to pronounce your name for your donation. <laughs> and um, I hope Ginger GM Simon will forgive me if I now play his video <laughs> because I did promise that Simon. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's. Oh, actually, there is also David Boy is still in the chat, which means his flight is quite seriously delayed. Um, there is also a video of Simon and me dancing. So I will now play the Simon karaoke video. And if there is one more, <laughs> if there is one more donation, I'll play the video of Simon and me dancing. So uh, don't worry, you don't need to stay tuned. I just prepared this little thing, and I hope you're ready for Simon. Simon, this is the time to put your speakers on mute. I'm afraid, and um, enjoy that. Thank you. 
So there we go. Uh, for those of you who hadn't seen that yet, um, it always makes my day, my evening. Um, I love that video. <laughs> I can understand, I guess, <laughs> Simon. But I mean, I'm not sure how I would feel about this being me, but I think it'd be okay. I mean, there were videos of me singing Barbie Girl, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's getting late. As I said, it's been a long weekend. <laughs> Lucas in the chat is saying it's, this is the best advertisement against alcohol he's ever seen. Um, actually, I always hope they will. I always hope I will never get drunk enough to be dragged into a karaoke and film because I think I am literally the worst singer. Like some of you might have seen me occasionally on a stream or the other but it's pretty bad um if i i keep if i i mean it's not if i keep streaming i will keep streaming we shall see how much singing there will be but um that would probably be the best advertisement against against singing really don't know okay so <laughs> Tony McCarthy is saying it. this video reminds him of the time he was in Mexico and they had to pull the power on his singing, it was so bad. And that sounds like something, uh, that sounds familiar. I actually, um, I did sing in the karaoke two times in my life. Once was in Mallorca in a bar, I was with my two best friends, but we were literally the three only people in the bar, so that was okay. I sang a duet with the waiter there. Um, and then the first time was uh, in Tromsø, actually, in the uh, we were playing a chess tournament before the Olympiad. I think it was back in 2010. Uh, they held a, a very nice tournament called the Arctic Challenge in Tromsø. And we went to a karaoke bar with a few chess player friends. <laughs> and um, there was a few, there were a few drinks involved, but from my blurry memory, what I can remember is I think I was booed off the stage. I was singing Lady Lady Gaga Alejandro. Luckily, it was a duet again, but um, yeah, I think it didn't get the best reception. Okay, and I think enough uh, chatting. Yeah, again, listen to Simon in the chat. Uh, if you donate one thousand pounds, I will delete the video for one thousand pounds only. <laughs> Go cheaper than that, but uh, yeah, let's play another game. Uh, I have another challenge. Oh no, the challenge is gone. I was talking too much. Okay, guys, send me another challenge. <laughs> I really need to. Um, and uh, Simon, yeah, best of luck with your show. I will speak to you soon. Uh, we were just speaking about the European Club Cup today with David and Vlad. We we're getting really excited for it. Um, it's only twelve days away now. So even if you if you have donated already or if you don't want to donate or you can't afford to donate, just keep your fingers crossed for us. Um, it's going to be a massive event. It's a very strong tournament. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very much looking for it. It was great last year. This year our team is even stronger. So it should be really, really good. Uh, so yeah, do follow our games. Send us positive vibes. And enough of me talking pish i have another challenge coming in from lucas uh, lucas who i think i think i think i know who it is another person i was writing his address down today for the postcard so yeah again um if you fancy a postcard just send us a little donation and you can get a postcard signed by the entire team chadleton plus a player of your choice and once again, I'm very happy because I have my favorite opening, the Grand Prix. I've managed to drop 35 points of our hard-earned rating already tonight. So I'll try and gain some more of that back. I think, let's start and let's get to the end. <laughs> Do you think that will get me further? Starting a let's get to Ginger GM hammered one. We shall see. Okay. 
Now, the Grand Prix. Um, sometimes I'll have to play it with the bishop to b5, but uh, usually I'm happiest when I could put it to c4, uh, point it towards f7, and just try and create some havoc already, basically. And um, yeah, once again, I mean, I've said this before, but I always wonder when the point will come on those streams when I just run out of things to say, because it is. I also wonder how my neighbors feel about this, because I love my flat, but the uh, walls really are pretty thin. Um, let me first think about how to deal with this move. Can I just take? No. Can I go d3? Um, yeah, the walls are um, fairly thin, and I wonder if they just think I'm a total nutcase sitting here talking to myself. Quite possibly. Um, but yeah, I still feel confident for today. Um, I feel like there's still some reserves. I have some, do you call it reserves? some reserves of pish chat inside of me that I can just dish out um, if need shall be. But yeah, if I ever get short of stuff to talk about, uh, do help me out in the chat. Um, send your random questions. As David said last time, I will answer pretty much. Oh no, just blundered upon. This is terrible. Um, I will answer pretty much every Question. Things fair to say. I'm going to try. I can't lose this game. Surely I can't lose in my beautiful Grand Prix. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. And Outluck just donated five euros. Thank you so much, Outluck. Um, that probably means I will also play the video of Simon and me dancing in the Isle of Man to finish uh, today's show after this game, which I will hopefully manage to turn around, but I'm not happy at all with what I've done here. Not happy at all. But okay, I will try and get something going here on the king side. Just hope for the best. Keep my fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Uh, thanks a million. Outlocked. And what I will do now is I will finish this game and I will then show you uh, the video of Simon and me dancing. Another brilliant video, as David said in the chat earlier. Uh, we will be filming lots, hopefully be filming lots of more silly uh, videos in Novi Sad. Um, and yeah, so if you have any more questions, this uh, show will only be going on for 10 more minutes. So, speak now or forever hold your, what's the saying? Forever hold your peace? I'm not sure, I'm not very good at these things. I know them better in other languages. But yeah, basically, if you have any comments, any questions, and now is the time. And I only just realized this is a five minute game. My first five minute game of the day, which is pretty good because uh, if it wasn't a five minute game, I would be in quite serious time trouble already. I'm now in more positional trouble. I don't like my position at all, although it's starting to look a bit more promising now. I really want to get f6 in, but I'm not quite sure how yet. Probably get my bishop here. I expect him to play knight g7. After which I'm hoping to play knight g4. Five, I think. I think. Or could I just... Okay. Basically, I just really want to play f6 or sacrifice my knight somewhere and take on g6. Hold your peace. Yeah, hold your peace. And Davy Boy is saying his flight is ready to board. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in, David. Um, have a safe flight. And yeah, take care of yourself. I hope it worked out with the hot girl who sat there next to you as well. 
And yeah, now I'm liking my position again, I think. I expect him to play f6, but after f6, I think I can take on, on g6. So I think I'm doing well now, unless I'm spotting things, which is very possible. Mm, can I play f6 now? I, f I feel there must be something. I can maybe play like f6. It just, you know, sometimes you can feel where the position is. Um, when a position is winning, and this is one of these instances where you can just, you can tell there must be something. And okay, so the question is, if he takes now, can I play f6? Or should I play queen h4? I was just looking at queen h4 if he can take. But so basically what I'm saying is I was wondering if he can take, if I go queen h4, yeah, I think that's probably the easiest. Probably. So where it I have a better move. <sighs> okay, I'll go here. But I think he will play queen d7 or... S oh no. Okay, now I'm threatening f6 now, so he must get out of the way with his king, I guess. I guess king h8, but after king h8 I have bishop f6. Also, one of the things is I never know if I do commentary on a game, I have some time to think about. And okay, I have another uh, I have another challenge coming in from Karaoke Rules, so I'm going to take that one um, as well. So this is actually the second last game. I will then play Karaoke Rules and then I will show you the other video of Simon and me doing some fantastic dancing and then that will conclude today's show. So. Uh, as for my position, what's the material count? <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm a pawn up. <coughs> and his king is now getting mated in the next move. It is about time I conclude the show because my voice is deserting me or turning sexy. I'm not sure which. But yeah, <coughs> mate on G7 is about to follow. I'm glad the Grand Prix never lets me down. Uh, thanks for the game, Lucas. Um, but yeah, the Grand Prix really just is too strong. So let's play a last game against Karaoke Rules. I guess that is a new handle created in homage for the great Simon Williams. Um, so yeah, that will be the last game of tonight. Uh, it will be, oh, and a king's gambit. I like it. I guess he's going to be disappointed by my bishop c5 move, which is not exactly in the spirit of the king's gambit, but again, I'm not sure what prompted me to play this opening. Is it laziness to look into the main lines? Is it the fact I quite like this? First, ah, oh, and it's, it was Lucas first, the first time Lucas faced the Grand Prix, indeed. Um, not good timing. Um, in online blitz, it's very unlikely I will play anything but a Grand Prix. But uh, yeah, do look it up for another time. I think it's quite a tricky opening, and um, Black Black has several good ways to react to the Grand Prix, but it's just a matter of looking into it. Okay, and now I think this has gone pretty well again, unless I'm missing something. Okay. Can I just take on f4? And basically, if this d pawn was not there now, it would be fine. But now I think I'm okay, and my queen is uh, aiming to go to h4, and I'm not sure how he's going to stop that. And I think um, White's position is looking pretty dodgy already, although he's going to try and hide. But I don't believe it. 
I don't believe it. I'm just looking at whether I have anything better than queen than queen f2, but I think I'm just going to try and win this rook somehow. Somehow, somehow. If he goes away with the rook, I'll probably just take an f3 and I think be a pawn up. f6 and f takes e7 would have won a piece. So instead of queen h4, what was that? One of the things, I mean, I've mentioned, um, I mentioned I have terrible memory. Another thing is I'm te absolutely terrible at blindfold analysis. And when I say terrible, I mean absolutely hopeless. And okay, rook g5 I hadn't seen, which isn't good news. But it's not good news at all. But I wonder if there is any mate. It just looks like like there should be something. But I can't quite see it and I'm running a bit low on time. I don't like the way this is going now at all. Okay. Ah dear. This is not what I'd hoped for. He's now going to take on d4. And I'm going to take on f1, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to take with the queen because if I take with the knight, he's just going to give a check on b5 and unpleasant things are going to happen. But now my knight is not happy at all. And I've completely misplayed this. I thought I was more or less winning already. Um, but no such luck. And king here, that's unexpected. I'm just going to take this queen. And can I trap your rook somehow? Rook. Mm -mm -mm, probably can't. Okay, so I'll just take this pawn. I hope it takes with the king. Then I'll castle queenside. Developing with tempo. So basically, I'm just trying to make a point that he's very undeveloped. Um, I just need to get that knight to a better square, really. And I would also love to trap that rook, but I don't think I'm going to manage that. So, yep. Mm -mm. Okay, this endgame is winning, but can I win it in time is the only question. And I'm very short, which is not great news. And I'm also not happy that I'm giving all my pawns. And I think I'm going to be flagged in this one, which I'm not happy about already. Not the note I wanted to finish on. I'm getting nervous as well. Nervous and slow is not a good combination, you guys. Yeah, he played very well, I have to say. And I'm going to resign this one. Well played, karaoke rules, and there go. How many rating points? I dread looking at my screen. 48 rating points. That was a painful end to today's stream. Luckily, it wasn't my own account. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Okay, if I click on analyzes and switch on the computer just to see what kind of assessment, because I thought I was just pretty much winning after the opening. I probably was. But uh, GG karaoke rules. Karaoke does rule uh, indeed when it's not me singing. So let's just have a look um, now, earlier than this. Very early in the game, I thought. And yeah. Turns out I was on minus two by move nine. So pretty bad of me to mess this one up. But uh, yeah, well done, karaoke woods. So I think that uh, pretty much concludes today's show. I did promise, um, did promise you guys 
the karaoke video, so I'm going to do that. And now I, I doubt that was Simon. If it was Simon, it would be pretty embarrassing opening on his part. I mean, he does love playing. I'm not saying it was an embarrassing opening, but I think uh, things went wrong there for White. But he played a good game later on, or I probably didn't take advantage of my position the best I could have. So, yeah. Uh, well done. Uh, also, in case you missed the start of today's show, I did <laughs> delete. Uh, I did say I will publish the videos on my YouTube channel from now on. This is a completely new thing. Unfortunately, I lost the 12 hour stream forever because we hadn't clicked the option that we hadn't ticked the box to save the video. But this one will be on. So, um, this concludes today's show. I'm going to show you the video now and then I'll quickly come back to say uh, good night to all of you. But yeah, uh, do have a look at this, some brilliant dancing going on here. <laughs> Go. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Actually, every time I watch that video, I can hear myself singing in the background, and even that is pretty bad already. But uh, there you go. Um, I always like to make the point as well that uh, Chaddleton, we are a very decently rated team, but above all, uh, we are a real group of friends, which is why I'm uh, looking forward to the European Club, European Club Cup even more than I would in normal uh, circumstances. I think it's great when you can get a competitive team together and uh, do so as friends. So there we go um, on that sentimental note that is going to conclude today's show. Thank you everyone for tuning in. As I said, I will be streaming daily starting from Thursday. So every, uh, every night from Thursday onwards for uh, eight days, I will be streaming for somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours. So if you haven't created an account on Trust24 already, do so now uh, to challenge me and to get some more games in. Thank you everyone who tuned in tonight. Uh, as I said, tonight was more of a test run, but um, seems to have gone reasonably well. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, I've said thank you about 10 times for now. Um, but yeah, uh, great to see you all in the chat and uh, see you all soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.